a very contentious decision was made by Sengezo Chabangu. He recalled three CC councillors from Matabele Land North, which you guessed it led to by-elections. These by-elections are more than just a routine electoral process, they are a critical power play in the larger political landscape of Zimbabwe. The CCC, which is the main opposition party, had previously secured more than 100 of the 280 seats in parliament during the last general election. This was a significant blow to the ruling ZANU-PF party, which has been trying to secure a two-thirds majority in parliament, a key threshold that would allow them to amend the constitution. The timing and circumstances of these by-elections have raised many eyebrows. Critics argue that these moves are strategically designed to weaken the opposition. The CCC itself is caught in internal strife and factional battles, which only adds to the complexity of the situation. Now, let's talk implications. If the ruling party can flip these seats, they edge closer to that critical two-thirds majority. This means potentially major constitutional changes, and there's even talk about removing presidential term limits. These developments have broader implications for democracy in Zimbabwe. The manner in which these by-elections are conducted and the fairness of the process are under scrutiny. It's a litmus test for the integrity of Zimbabwe's democratic processes and the public's trust in them. Will the CC manage to hold its ground or will the ruling party advance its agenda? And more importantly, what will this mean for the everyday citizen in Zimbabwe? That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates from Zim News Live YTS.